A lot of people want to start up a business, but they think they need thousands and thousands of dollars to start up. That you guys is completely false. In this video, I'm going through seven top business ideas that you can start with no money. Yes, seriously, zero. You just need to be creative and I guarantee that you can turn any skill that you already have into a very viable business that is making six, seven, or eight figures. Without a lot of money to start a business, you need to rely on yourself to create value. And what you can do is offer your services to other people, which is basically just trading your time for money. But then you're thinking, hey, I thought trading time for money was something we weren't trying to do. But the answer to that is no, especially at the start. When you're just starting out a business, and especially when you're starting out a business without any money, it's likely that you will have to trade time for money. And then as you keep building this business and scale it up, that's when you can actually get to a point where you aren't trading your direct time for money. Or you'll have set up processes that allow you to keep making money even when you are not working. Guys, I have to stress that it is so much easier to make money these days than it was back like 50 years ago. And the sole reason for this is all due to the internet. A lot of these ideas require literally just a laptop like this. Some of the ideas we'll be talking about in this video are more personal, but a lot of these ideas you can literally just do with a computer. And everything on this list is scalable. You can turn it into a six, seven, or even maybe an eight figure business. So let's get started. The first top business idea that you can start with no money is print on demand. This is a business model which lets you start up a clothing company without any startup capital. Here's how it works. So when a customer places an order for let's say a shirt on your website, this factory or the supplier will start to make that shirt. They'll print it on demand as the name suggests, and then they will ship it out for you. So literally there's nothing you need to do on your side besides customer service in order for that shirt to be printed and shipped out for you. In a way, it's sort of like drop shipping. There's no need to buy in bulk. There's no need to place a big order ahead of time before you've uh, actually made any orders. And as a result, a lot of the risk is taken out. You don't need to keep inventory and it's a lot easier to start. If you have a good idea for making t-shirts, then print on demand is one of the best and easiest ways to get into e-commerce. Honestly, when I was starting out my own clothing brand that actually flopped, I wish I knew about print on demand because that would have made things so much easier. Um, you know, my profits would have been a little bit less, but the startup costs, handling inventory, all that stuff would have been so much easier. It's a great way to test an idea before actually committing and creating a big order from overseas. And to get started, there are sites like Printify and Shopify that allow you to use this business model. I'll link them in the description below. So if you're interested in actually starting out your own print on demand shop, those are probably two of the best places to start. I will say that trademark infringement is one of the big things you have to look out for when you are doing print on demand. A lot of the popular slogans and designs may be copyrighted. So if you aren't sure, you'll probably want to talk to a copyright lawyer or someone like that because you definitely don't want to run into any problems when you're doing your first business. And the biggest and hardest part about any company, especially print on demand, is the marketing. You can create a really cool product, but if you don't market it correctly, then no one's gonna know about it and no one's gonna buy it. So I really recommend using social media, use sites like TikTok, use uh, Instagram influencers, TikTok influencers, try and give them free clothes and see if they'll post content for you. Especially TikTok, like you guys, this platform is still very undervalued. Um, the influencers are all underpaid right now because it's brand new. No one really knows how much they're worth. So I think that if you send fruity products to a bunch of TikTok influencers, you'll have a really good shot at having them make content for you. And that will definitely be a good return on your investment. And like I said before, if you're interested in this business model, check out the links below. There are a lot more in-depth guides available on YouTube that you guys will find extremely helpful. But yeah, print on demand, very good cheap and easy way to get into e-commerce. Okay, next top business idea is starting up a niche content blog. What I mean by this is you wanna start up a blog that is centered around a specific category. For example, this could be like MacBook accessories, personal finance, lamps, like there are so many different categories that you guys can make a blog about. It doesn't have to be something that you're extremely passionate about, but it does have to be something that you think you can monetize. And now you're probably wondering like, how can a content blog actually make money? The way it works is with this blog, you generate traffic through your blog posts and articles. The goal is to get these articles ranked high on search engines such as Google. In these posts, you'll have like how to's, top 10 of whatever, 
anything that gives value to the reader. And in these articles, you'll also have your affiliate links. And that's how you actually directly make money through a content website. When people click on these links and they buy that product or service, you'll make a percentage of the revenue. You guys, this is the perfect business to start if you don't have any money. You can easily use a free blogging tool such as Wix.com to create your first blog in like a few hours. It's extremely easy. Or you can use WordPress paired with a web host such as Bluehost and create a more advanced and customizable blog. But I think for most people just starting out, Wix is a great way to create a professional looking website without the hassle of all these customizations and having all these different plugins. And I promise you, you can literally set up a blog in one single afternoon. The key with this business idea is that you have to make a lot of valuable content. If you don't like writing, then this business type is gonna be extremely hard to stay consistent with. And the reason why you can make so much money with a niche blog like this is because all the people that are coming in and reading your uh, post from sites such as google.com, they are hot leads. They're, they're actively searching for this type of content. And as a result, when you rank for these keywords, it means that these people are likely to buy whatever product or services you're talking about. Affiliate income is no joke, and there are so many people making six and seven figure incomes just from their blogs. The hard part with this is getting the traffic, getting that initial audience. To do so, you need to make really good content, you need to build up a good audience base, and you need to figure out a way to rank on search engines. People think that blogging is dead, but guys, there's still so much untapped market and potential in blogging. So I definitely think that this is a great business that you can start in 2020 with no money required. All right, my third top business idea is door-to-door -door sales. For example, you can sell things such as home security, pest control, solar energy, the list is endless. I know what you're probably thinking, people see these salespeople as sort of sleazy and really low on the totem pole. But it's not always that way and there are a ton of very legit door-to-door -door jobs that you can actually get. Since most of them are commission-based, the earnings potential for these jobs is extremely high. In door-to-door -door sales, you normally start off as a rep, which means that you'll be door knocking to generate business. There are unlimited doors that you can knock on, or at least enough where one person cannot possibly door knock all of them. And as a result, it's all about how much work you put in. It is a tough job. You'll see a ton of rejection. It's gonna be hard at times, but if you're successful with this, you can make a huge income. A lot of people think that door-to-door -door salesmen need to be extreme extroverts. However, the truth is that you can actually be an introvert and be one of the best salesmen. So really people of all different types of personalities can really excel with this type of job. So there are people like Chandler David Smith, who's another YouTuber. I really enjoy his videos and he actually started off selling pest control. He still does this and it's a great income source for him. It's also an extremely great learning opportunity. You know, like having this training and doing sales is going to help you out in pretty much any business you start in the future. And now this is specifically targeted at college students, but with these door-to-door -door sales companies, a lot of them target these students um, who just work over the summer months. And then after that, they return to school. But in these summer months, you can make a ton of money. So if you're back home from school, if you're on break, this can be a great business that you can learn a ton from. Now you're probably also wondering, how can you scale this type of business? Well, like I said before, you start off as a rep, but if you are really good at what you do, then eventually you'll become a manager. And when you're a manager, you can recruit other people to become reps and you'll make a percentage of the amount of money that they bring in. Therefore, you cannot be working, just recruiting and be making money. Okay, next up on my list is personal branding. And I call this the business that will bring in more business. Personal branding won't bring you any money in directly, but it will make your opportunities for making money much greater, more efficient, and successful. I'll give a rundown of personal branding and why it's so good, but I actually made another separate video that is much more detailed, so I will put that link in the description below. To build a successful personal brand, you need to do a lot of social media. You need to build your social media accounts on YouTube, on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever platforms are popular in your country. You also need to build your influence by building your reputation. You want to think about what you're good at, what value you can bring to others, and also what type of change and knowledge you want to inspire in other people. Personal branding is such an overlooked business opportunity. People don't think that this is actually a business, 
But guys, this is the thing that you want to focus a lot of time in if you want to start a company in the future. Personal branding literally equates to free marketing for any business you start later on. So going to one of my businesses I failed earlier on was my clothing business. And the reason why that failed was because of marketing. Now, if I were to start another clothing business, I think I'd have such a big advantage now that I've sort of built up this personal brand. Before, no one knew me. They didn't really care about me. And so as a result, why would they want to buy my clothes? Once you build some influence, then any type of product or service you have will be tied to your personal brand. And that's going to make starting off a lot easier. The only thing that building a personal brand requires is a lot of time. It doesn't require any money, but it takes up so much time. Social media is free. Posting valuable content is free. Everything you need to get started with your personal brand is going to be at zero cost. And it can be done while working another job, doing other side hustles. The list is endless. This is the long-term strategy business that I see a lot of people overlooking. So that's why I wanted to put it on this list. I think it is so important. And if you build your personal brand early on, you're going to have such a big advantage in whatever you do in the future. So my number five business idea, which requires no money to start, is becoming a virtual assistant. If you want to work remotely and you want to learn the ins and outs of a company, being a VA on Fiverr or Upwork is the best way to start. This is a service-based business where you are basically working as an assistant for some company owner or whoever it is that needs services done. So this can be more like menial tasks such as word processing, Excel sheets, basically anything that frees up time of the person that is hiring you. I love this business opportunity because it allows you to become well-rounded on the back end of any business. To become a successful VA, the person hiring you is going to have to train you. And as a result, you'll learn everything about the business, how they operate, how they run, what tasks they have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And while at first glance, that sounds kind of boring, you guys can actually learn so much from that. I suggest finding a company on Fiverr uh, in an industry that you are passionate about and an industry where you might want to create your own business in the future. This is the easiest way to learn tons and tons about that industry while still making some money. Now, the pay is not that high. You're not going to be rolling in the dough by becoming a virtual assistant. But guys, what's most important here is the experience. And you know, you're still making money. So it's kind of like an internship that you get paid for. Now, this is definitely hard to scale because you know, you're only yourself. There's only a certain amount of hours you can work as a VA per day. However, one way you can scale this is by creating a staffing agency full of VAs that you hire out to companies. You're doing the legwork of finding quality VAs that are trainable, that have some basic skills. And as a result, you can take a cut of whatever pay they're getting and create passive income that way. Overall, you guys, becoming a virtual assistant, it's a great way to be paid from home and also learn the intricacies of a business. If you do it right, you'll leave with, yes, some pay but also a lot of experience as to how to run a company okay number six on my list is personal training if you're big on fitness then i think this is one of the most rewarding and scalable businesses that is on this list guys literally the possibilities are endless if you're into fitness the thing most people start out with is in-person training sessions but then you can get more creative you can start selling online training guides and workout plans so the first step in building a personal training business is, well, you want to know how to build a good body. You need to know what good form is, what exercises there are, and also how to get certain results by combining different exercises and techniques so that your client can get the best results possible. Now, many trainers will get certification and this does cost money, but you know, you don't have to do this. What I do recommend is once you start making some money with your personal training business, I recommend reinvesting that, getting your certification, and that will help you out greatly in the future. So the first way that most people start out with personal training is just doing in-person training sessions. This gives you experience, testimonials, and referrals. From there, that's when you can actually start moving on to online personal training. And guys, online personal training, that is the easiest way to scale this type of business. This way you can reach more people, have more clients at the same time, and just impact a lot more people. What you can do is sell customized workout plans based on your clients' wants and needs. And later on, if you're good at nutrition, you can create meal plans for them. This is a business opportunity where, yes, you can create monthly income by charging monthly fees. So this becomes recurring income. So let's say you have a client that pays you $200 a month. If you have 50 clients like that, which is entirely possible if it's online training, then bam, that's $10,000 a month and that's $120,000 per year. All of this costs no money because it is a service-based business. It's reliant on the experience and knowledge that you have. And like any business, the start is the hardest. Getting those first initial clients is the hardest, 
but you'll find that if you're good at what you do, they will refer you to their friends and family and your business will literally start looking like that. So I actually wanted to do something like this before, but never got around to it. So hey, if you guys like fitness, if you want to help impact people and help people get into shape, then this could be a great opportunity and business to start with no money. Okay, next up on my list is becoming a TikTok manager. TikTok is the newest and fastest growing social media platform with almost 1 billion active users. I think that TikTok is going to take over IG. Well, I guess we'll see because it seems like some countries are starting to ban this app. But still, you guys, this is the opportunity that you've been waiting for. If you've ever wanted to grow on social media fast, then this is the app to do so. It is so much easier to grow on TikTok than YouTube or Instagram. Like I'm talking at least 50 to 100 times easier. For example, you guys, my friend Elliot Choi, he got like three, over 300,000 followers on TikTok in literally seven days. Now granted, he is an amazing content creator, but still that is literally impossible on any other platform. We have influencers like Charlie D'Amelio with 68.2 million followers and even much smaller ones like yours truly that need representation. What I mean by this is that creators need help managing brand deals, working with brands, finding sponsorship opportunities, negotiating contracts. There's a huge influx of growing influencers on this platform and that is why I see so such a huge untapped market in this industry. Right now, TikTok influencers are not charging a lot. No one really knows what they're worth. So if you are really good at you know negotiating brand deals, finding opportunities for your clients, then yeah, the demand is there and people will find you and they will find your services extremely valuable. You have to have a good understanding of the platform, of course. You need to know how to pitch your client to different brands, different companies, and you need to know how to put deals together. And if you can, you can make a lot. The standard rate seems to be between 10 to 20% of the revenue from these deals. What I recommend doing is reach out to these smaller influencers, people like me. Offer your services and tell them how you can help them make more money. Give them an offer that they can't refuse because you know your first clients are the hardest to get. Give them good results and that will lead to word of mouth, that will lead to referrals from other people. And you know creators, they know other creators. So if you can do a good job for one creator, they are going to refer you to their friends. The way you can scale this is you can turn it into a full-blown agency. Once you become well known, you can start your own agency, hire other agents, and start getting bigger and bigger influencers on your roster list. Super cool opportunity, and if you know about TikTok, you know how fast this platform is growing and how much potential there is for representing all these new influencers. So guys, you really don't need any capital to start a business these days. I hope you guys found my list helpful. I know some of these ideas are more obscure. Some of them are more common. But guys, these are real ideas. These are ideas that you can definitely take and turn into six, seven, or eight figure businesses. There are so many opportunities on this list and in the world in general. I have to say you guys, take action, get uncomfortable, and just start things and learn them as you go. That's my model in life and it's worked out extremely well for me. Because remember you guys, these are just ideas. To turn them into actual businesses, you need to execute on them. Start taking action, create your first business, and you guys will thank me later. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it extremely helpful. And since we're on the topic of making money, if you guys haven't signed up yet for Webull, make sure to do so. Create your account, deposit $100, and you'll get two free stocks worth up to $1,650. And it's free to use and extremely powerful. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.